Welcome to a new week, tech fans. It's time for another DT Daily. I'm Casey Montoya. Coming up, Yahoo loses another CEO. Freddie Mercury faces a holographic revival. MacBook Pro could get a retina display. Verizon adds LTE to the Jersey Shore. And Intel Windows 8 tablets will hit stores in November. Embattled Yahoo CEO Scott Thompson resigned this weekend following allegations that he lied about his education credentials on his resume. As if that wasn't bad enough, Thompson also revealed to the Yahoo board that he had been diagnosed with thyroid cancer, which he said played a major role in his decision to step down as chief executive. Yahoo's board has recently settled its dispute with hedge fund manager and Yahoo shareholder Daniel Loeb, who launched the Thompson resume scandal after the board refused to appoint certain people to its ranks. Ross Levinson, an executive vice president of Yahoo, has been appointed interim CEO. Long deceased rock legend and queen frontman Freddie Mercury will appear on stage as a digitally created optical illusion during tonight's 10th anniversary performance of the musical we will rock you. According to Queen guitarist Brian May, Mercury will not be reincarnated as a hologram, but hinted that the effect would be similar to rapper Tupac Shakur's recent return from the grave at last month's Coachella Music Fest. May told the BBC that it was a little unfortunate about the Tupac hologram happening so recently as they've been trying to make Freddie appear on stage for quite some time. A new report from 9to5Mac indicates the Apple plans to launch a new version of its MacBook Pro laptop with a 15-inch Retina display similar to what can be found on the new iPad. In addition to the new super high resolution screen, the latest MacBook Pro version will also have an ultra-thin design and come with fast USB 3.0 data ports, Intel's Ivy Bridge quad-core processors, and 8 gigs of RAM. The new MacBook Pro model is expected to launch sometime in June. If you're waiting until Windows 8 to get a new laptop, you may have to hold your breath until Christmas. CNET reports that though there are more than a dozen Intel-based Windows 8 devices in production, none of them will hit store shelves until November. They won't all be laptops or tablets either. According to the site, more than half will be hybrid tablets or tablet-like devices with laptop characteristics like a keyboard. Verizon will flex its 4G LTE muscles again over the week as it adds 27 new markets to its lead over Sprint and AT&T. On May 17th, Verizon will add LTE service to a number of places along the Jersey Shore, including Atlantic City, Toms River, and Cape May County, as well as two dozen other locations in the Northeast. That does it for today. Check back with Digital Trends later for our review of Adeo's PF122 headphones. And stay tuned all week for ongoing coverage of Internet Week in New York City.